If you want to learn how to get your first 100 subscribers and beyond, make sure you stick around for this entire video. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and I am here to help you build a foundation for YouTube success. Today I'm going to offer you some tips on how to get to your first 100 subscribers and beyond. Let's get started. All right, so if you're working on getting your first 100 subscribers, then you're probably new to YouTube. And if you're new to YouTube, it might have come as a surprise that it's not quite as easy as it looks. There's a lot of work involved, and when you see people like PewDiePie and other large YouTubers that have millions and millions of subscribers, the idea of trying to get 100 seems like it should be a cakewalk, but that's not the case. Man, this is harder than I thought. When you think about everything that you need to be familiar with, from how to create your title and your keywords and your thumbnails and how to properly frame a video, worry about your background, how long your video should be, when you should post it, so many things that you need to consider when starting out on YouTube and trying to get noticed and build a subscriber base it can be overwhelming. And after going through that entire experience on my other channel, I knew I needed to create a channel like Creator Fundamentals that would put all this information at your fingertips. That's why I say that Creator Fundamentals is here to help you build a foundation for YouTube success. It's all about giving you that basic information that you need to make sure that your channel runs properly so you can focus on constantly increasing and improving the quality of your videos. And that brings me to my first tip, which is you gotta do the research. You gotta get out there and watch videos about how YouTube works and what you need to do to properly position your channel and your content to maximize views and subscribers and watch time and all those important things that are gonna help your channel grow. There are currently over 30 videos on Creator Fundamentals that are all focused on you, the small YouTuber, and giving you that information that you need to take your channel to the next level. So if you're struggling, if you're having trouble getting views, if you're having trouble building your subscriber base, start watching videos. If you don't have time to watch all the videos, click the watch later button, and when you do have time, sit down and watch an entire video to the end. I assure you that the information in the videos that I'm providing has been put together specifically for helping you get through the tough spots that you're facing as a new YouTuber. All right, tip number two is all about YouTube SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. That means you want to be able to put all the metadata, which is simply data about data. Uh, in this case, it's your title and your description and your keywords. So you want to make sure that you're positioning that SEO information in such a way that your videos can be found, that they're relevant to the topic that you're covering, and that you are targeting search terms that you have the best chance of actually ranking in. What that means is you don't want to pick a single keyword in most cases and uh, try to rank in that when there are millions and millions of other search results for that given keyword. Um, ultimately what you want to do, and there's another video out there that you can check out, I'll put a link up here all about keyword research, but basically before you even start uh, filming your video ideally, you want to come up with the topic of your video. Then you want to take that topic and do some searching and figure out what the best keyword phrase is that's going to get you the best chance of ranking, which basically means you want a keyword phrase that has um, fairly decent search volume but not a lot of competition. There's a number of ways that you can do that and that video will give you some insight in how that's done. But then you basically take that uh, keyword phrase, you make it your actual title, you make it the first line of your description and you make sure that it's one of your keywords and then you build keywords around that concept. Um, all of that is considered YouTube SEO and that's going to help your videos show up when people search for whatever topic that you're covering. When you first start out, you don't have a lot of authority with your channel, which means that um, you know somebody like PewDiePie, who basically doesn't even need to put any uh, meaningful keywords in his videos, he has such a huge channel, 
that YouTube immediately promotes his stuff. So it's a much different world with you as a small YouTuber. You really got to hustle for your views and work for your subscribers uh, and really put in, um, you know, that groundwork, feet to the pavement uh, type situation and get out there and uh, do everything you can to, to get those views early on. As your channel starts to grow in the future, then you start to get into suggested videos and um, you know recommended videos and that kind of stuff which can really help propel your channel. But just starting out, it really has to do with um, you know sharing your content and also being found in search results. All right, so tip number three has to do with thumbnails. Now, when you're just starting out, um, you know, there'll probably be a learning curve on the thumbnails, but just to keep it in basic terms, you're looking for a thumbnail that has high contrast. If you're somebody who appears in your videos, you wanna try to put your face in your video or, or in your thumbnail. If you put your face in your thumbnail, you wanna put it on the right side of the thumbnail and any text that you have, you wanna put it on the left side of the thumbnail. The reason for that is when your thumbnail displays in the lower right hand corner it displays the total length of your video and that will cover up any text that you put on the right hand side so if you have like I said your face keep your face on the right your text on the left you also want to use bold easy to read text uh, you want to stand clear of you know any type of script text or really narrow text or text that blends in with the background if you have a uh, photographic background with a lot of different colors in it you want to make sure you put like a solid block behind the text so people can actually see it Otherwise, when they're looking at a thumbnail, a lot of times on their phone, it's really small and the lack of contrast between your font and your background uh, can really make it difficult to view. Now, tip number four has to do with tools. If you wanna do any job right, it's important to know the proper tools to use. With YouTube, there's a ton of resources out there. As I mentioned earlier, Creator Fundamentals is here to help you with a number of videos on topics related to growing your channel as a small YouTuber. In addition to that, there's other great tools like TubeBuddy, which can help you make those thumbnails we just talked about, and also help you with keyword research. There's a number of different options available and tools available on TubeBuddy, uh, and they have basically a tiered subscription service. They offer um, some features at the free level, and then if you want to get um, you know, a little more involved, they offer um, a couple different levels of service that provide some additional features. So if you don't have TubeBuddy, you definitely want to get TubeBuddy. I'll put a link in the description below. You can check that out. You sign up. It's pretty quick. And then it's actually a uh, plugin that you download in the Chrome browser. So it'll actually overlay helpful tools and information on YouTube as you're checking out videos, both your own and other people's videos. So it's kind of cool to see how other videos perform and TubeBuddy is going to give you some of that statistical information that you wouldn't normally be able to see on other people's videos. Uh, another great tool is a website called Morning Fame. I'll also put a link uh, in the description below. It's currently in a uh, invite-only beta, uh, which means you need a link, and I will give you that link as I mentioned below so you can click on that and get signed up. Morning Fame is a really cool website that uh, presents uh, your um, performance of your channel in a graphical format and then gives you advice um, in terms of what strategy to use to grow your channel based on the statistics that it's uh, um, reading from your channel. It's a really cool site. Uh, I definitely recommend grabbing it uh, because it does. It provides a lot of insight. There's some things that aren't always super clear um, in terms of looking at them in Google Analytics. Uh, and Morning Fame really makes a nice graphical presentation of that and kind of makes it uh, you know, very visual and easy to see what's going on on your channel. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you're not satisfied with the rate at which your channel is growing. So one of the things you need to consider in terms of the rate of growth has to do with consistency. And what I mean by consistency is how frequently are you uploading to YouTube? 
You can't upload one video and then wait a month and wonder why your channel isn't growing. If you're looking to improve the speed at which your channel grows, then you want to consider uploading more frequently. Uh, once a week or a couple times a week is a great way to kind of, um, you know, give a boost to your channel and get it to grow faster. So if you are focused on that and you're looking for ways to grow faster than you're growing now, uh, I would strongly recommend trying to upload more frequently. That said, you still want to upload quality content, uh, you know, so keep in mind that you don't want to just upload anything. Um, you know, try to use the tips that we've mentioned thus far in terms of developing the concept of what you want to make a video about and doing your keyword research and all that for each video. But if you have the ability and the time, uploading more um, frequently with consistency, which means if you are going to do once or twice a week, do that every week. Don't do it three times this week and then wait three weeks and post one video and then wait four weeks and post a video. Uh, you really want to have that consistency and frequency uh, to grow your channel faster than, than what you're experiencing now. All right, so like I mentioned, there's certainly a ton of information that you want to familiarize yourself with as a new YouTuber, as a small YouTuber to help your channel grow faster than it's growing now and get to that 100 subscriber mark. Remember, once you get to 100 subscribers, then you get to pick your custom um, channel name. Before you do that, definitely check out my video about things you need to consider before selecting your channel name because a lot of people select their channel name without giving it thought and it comes back to bite them later on. So definitely check out that video. And also, as I mentioned, there's so much to uh, consider when you're developing and growing your YouTube channel that I can't cover it all in one video. But as I also mentioned, there's 30 videos behind this one that can help you understand how YouTube works and what you need to do to grow faster and continue to 100 subscribers and beyond. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've clicked that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for now. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.